Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Mechelen playthrough in Football Manager 2018, where we're playing Charleroi. Char. Char. Leroy. That is an I, not an L, isn't it? Charleroi, yeah. Uh, who are second at the moment, doing very well. And uh, we are about to go play them. Also, decided to buy this guy. 17 year old promising midfielder. He's quite promising. Uh, for nothing. For nothing at all. Uh, he's American. If you go to the American team and then go to the under 21 squad, does they usually, the American manager and the Canadian manager, we, we picked up a few Canadians as well. Actually, we've picked up all of these that are in red for transferring to us. And for anywhere between 18, 17, we've got a 16 year old Raul Rivera coming 16 years old very good determination he's driven and he's got right now he's got decent mentals for a 16 year old he's got cracking mentals um good aerials he's almost target man aerials but he's got him as an advanced forward physicals need a little bit of work but his pace his raw pace at 16 years old he's good acceleration pace is good He's finishing for Sun 16. He's good. Just needs a little bit of, uh, of fleshing out. A little bit of vision. A little bit of technical. A little bit more attacking just to uh, just to fill that out. But for nothing, that's a decent sign. Uh, he might not get in the team. We might put him in the under-21s and maybe loan him out. But still, that's all right. Something for the future. Cal Soto, uh, the one that we just signed. Determination's crap, but he's only 17 years old, which means we can bring him in. If you compare him to someone who plays in that central midfield role, someone like Schultz. So Ritz. He's almost on par with Ritz right now. now if we look at Ritz's attributes, which is determination, nine. Well, maybe not. I mean, if we did have Ritz tutoring him, then his determination would come up as far as nine. But let's compare you to someone like Filipovic. Determination of 13. Yeah, so he might get up to maybe 10 or so. We need this determination to come up. How about shoots? Just go to our own squad. Shoofs. Dissemination of 16. Right. We'll probably end up with trying to tutor him with shoofs. Grab the uh, grab some determination. If he also picks up resolute, then that's on par with uh, with the determined attitude that he already has. So yeah. Grabbing these from the American League, again, good determination, good all-round uh, centre mid. He'll develop very well, hopefully. Lucas, 19 years old, good determination, he's driven. He might be one that we loan out. But there's a lot more development to come there from uh, from Lucas. Already seen Rivera, already seen Soto. If we go to Canada under 20s again they kind of they take the best regions that the whole of canada and the whole of the americans produce and they chuck them in the under 20s so it's almost like the cream of the crop of the regions um, that you can pick up for not a lot 17 years old who doesn't play in the position that we would want however 17 years old, we can always start him on that training regime. Determination's good. We're going to have to have him trained up by somebody to try and change his personality to something other than unambitious, but there's still this potential there. There is potential. Uh, another left back. Again, only 16 years old. Good determination. Determined personality. Proper left footed left back. Um, he'll get, probably get chucked in the under 21s uh, to develop until he's. 17 ish, and then we might loan him back. 
Who else? Was that it? I think that was it. Anything else that we can snipe out of the Canadian League? Or the Canadian Leagues? Already got bidding for you. Nope. Nope. Not really. Nope. And that's it, we started having to pay money. A hundred, uh, hundred dollars. hundred pounds, even. But no, that'll do. That will do, Pig. How about you? And you. Julian Dunn. Nope. So we, we kind of cherry-picked the bits out of, of those leagues. That are cheap. On the 20s. Let's have a look at what we missed out here. I did dabble on this one as well. But low determination and low determination uh, personality. Already 18 years old. It'd be 19 before he got to us. No, he wouldn't. He'd still be 18, just. All those transfers are coming through uh, the 1st of January. Decent speed, but apart from that, no. Decided to leave him where he is. Goalkeeper, he seemed alright. And he's ambitious. But we've already got a decent goalkeeper. Right sided defender, 17 years old, fairly professional. Determination of 10. Yeah. No. Hurt? Nope. Wilson? Wilson's not bad for 17. Alright, we can just sign him here. He wants a, a pittance. Uh, we might as well finalize that. And that's Wilson probably brought on board for zero money. 17 years old, good determination, balanced personality. Again, we'll try and get him tutored to something better than balance, but still. Um, he has roughly the shape that I go for from a centre back. Maybe needs a little bit more aerial. Are you a small person? 183. Uh, just just under six foot. Still. It's got a lot of development to do. And that's about it for the free guys. Anything that's young that people would want money for. Yeah. See the the two Canadians that we've got that are centre back, the the two centre midfield Canadians that we're involved that we've got on a free, they are as good, better than this guy, and they'd be wanting three hundred thousand for him. So if it's a way of creating easy money, I'll take that. So tactics, what we're we doing for this one, I've decided to slow the whole thing down a little bit. So control mentality. Structured, retain possession, shorter passing, play out of defense, work into the box, play wider, stay on feet. Stay on feet. Um, and just try to press them as well. So use the target to marking, um, close down much more, prevent short goalkeeper distribution. So hopefully, including the uh, dribble S, hopefully we can, we can ping it around, find an opening and then strike. But we'll see how it goes. Never works out how you want it. It is a home game though, so... Where you fit in time, you are not. However, this guy is almost as monstrous. Damn it. Oh. I say monstrous, but he's not strong. You might, we might be able to push him off the ball. Oh well. Let's go for it. Go for be right to back you. Let's go kick off. Looks like it's at home with all our traffic cones in support. So, go highlight straight from the kickoff. Please let it be a good one. Wilson inside. So, we should see short passing controlled. Alright, okay. Maybe not. Short control passing, ping it around, just try to spread the opposition to feet. Short, sharp. Until such a 
an opportunity opens up up front where they can uh, they can exploit it. Anyway, shoes, decent cross, just nobody was there. It looks like we're going right up the middle. Right, so Elias is going to get on this. We're on control. It's not a counter-attacking tactic. This is set yourself. Everyone in their position. Everyone knows what they're doing. Past the feet. Yeah, okay. Well, it kind of worked. Shoes. Evander. Evander out to Wilson, who's been dragged inside. Oops. Who's been dragged inside just because... Um, we don't have them set to wingers anymore. We have them set to uh, wide playmakers. And that's what we want. We want to, to pass around the opposition, frustrate them into making a mistake, and then pounce on that. So Wilson's going to get another go at this. Probably one of the longer balls you'll see all match. Roots back into Wilson. Again. Short, sharp to feet, controls, and a shot on target. 68% possession. It's what, yeah, if we have the ball, then it's not going to go in on it. One would assume, hopefully. So mega possession based. And uh, see if we have the, the players with the passing technical attributes to pull something like this off. Usually it's the it's a type of tactic that I save until I've got a decent team. Because you need people that have the awareness to pick the right pass um, and know what to do with the ball in confined areas. Looks like Sol is going to get hold of that, but he was off side because he's lazy as a fuck. Hmm. So, that looks like it was just a, a clearance. Fair enough. Baby is offside. Really? Baby? Did, uh, I don't know. Something lost in translation there. Wilson gets the ball out wide, kind of. Johan back to Wilson. Wilson buys the cheap corner. And we don't have, uh, we don't have the, the height to be able to, oh it's on TV, uh, we don't have the, the height to take advantage of, of these set pieces. Under will recycle the ball across to Johan, back to Wilson, come on, let's, let's keep this passing going, I like it. Drag them around a little bit more, to Vander, to Schoofs, to Johan, back again, now nope, out to Wilson, who loses the ball. Yeah, you need people to be able to to deal with with that that play, we, and we don't quite have the quality in the team. Still, sixty-seven, sixty-five, about sixty-five percent possession, and the majority, considering that these guys are second in the league, we're having the line share of the possession. The line share of the shots and the shots on target. And it looks like I might just be being biased here. Looks like they are getting a lot more tired than us. But by a lot more I mean by a few percent, but still. Them chasing shadows, maybe. Maybe we just started out fitter. I'll have to go back and have a look. Kevin and Dom. With the yellow card. Tom Chak has uh, picked up his yellow card as well. Out to Shoofs. Shoofs out to Ritz. Ritz. Back to Shoofs. Again. Short shot passes and Wilson just forgets to pick up the ball. That should be offside, is it not? It is. Good. So we are playing offside with this as well. Which might be a mistake. We are employing the offside trap. But their attacking players are dropping in uh, in their ratings. I just I don't think they're they're getting much of the ball, 
And if they're not seeing much of the ball and not getting touches on the ball, and then their ratings will drop. As on the other hand, we've not we've not been brilliant, but yeah, a lot of possession. Okay, please with how things are going, keep it up. It might just end up being all the possession, but none of uh, the end product. Damn it, Johan. Round out to Johan. Johan out forward to, to Solar. And then Wilson, who goes down right on the edge of the box. Thought that might be a penalty, but we weren't so lucky. Oh, Wilson. I'm still tinkering. I'm still toying with the idea of sending him back. Flash across the face of goal to nobody in particular. Dorham picks it up. Takes it back to Kools, who back to Dorham to Lusamba. Javi Martos. To that guy, to that guy. And it's a, a shot from range. Wilson gets another opportunity and almost. Almost pulls it off. Again, 65% possession. We just need to turn some of this into uh, actual goals. So first substitution. Wilson will deliver it long this time. Good. And it comes straight back out. We should be on tighter marking. We should be on closing down. They shouldn't have this amount of time on the ball. They don't. Good. Vitas to Wilson. Wilson into Johan to Ritz. Ritz to Evander who loses the ball. Comes back to Zola though. To Wilson. Inside to Schufs. Back out to Elias. Wilson. Intricate uh, triangular passing there. Ritz to Wilson. To Elias. They're chasing shadows at the moment. Back to Johan. Johan just feeds it forward to Sola, who had all the time in the world to slot it to the bottom corner, but decided to blast it at the keeper. That was Paul. But you saw how we we kind of dragged the opposition out this way with the, the amount of passing that was going on. And then it quickly came into the centre of the of midfield, out to Sola. And there was some big gaps there. That's what we're looking for. So, shoots to Wilson. Wilson inside to Evander. Evander to Johan. Johan into a bit of a cul-de-sac, but it comes out to Sola, who gets a penalty. This is just pure frustration from them. Please, Wilson. Oh my god, I just realised I got Wilson. Thing is, Wilson apparently is quite good at taking penalties. It might be crap in the outfield, but he's alright at penalties. Sends the keeper the wrong way, dispatches the penalty, and that is us. A goal to the good, and I think I'm going to keep the tactics as they are, but change some of the personnel. Let's have Leal up front. We'll have Paulson on for Tomcak. I don't want to risk you picking up another yellow card. And we'll have Kawhi on for Wilson. Yep. I'll confirm that. I took his penalty well, however. Job's done for him. And it goes out for a corner. Good. And hopefully for the rest of the match we can have them chasing shadows again. You're onto Evander. Evander forward. You're coming back from an offside, side, will you? How many times do I have to tell you to get out from an offside position? And I am fairly certain that 
that their fitness is going down more than ours is with the amount of chasing that they have to do they're having to do when we've got possession with the amount of possession that we have I'm fairly certain that generally I'm lucky uh, that generally their uh, their fitness is worse off than ours Johan takes a speculative effort from the uh, edge of the box but uh, yeah they're in the 60s they're in the 60s and we are just getting into the high 60s they're in the low 60s some of them are the ones in the middle the ones that are having to do all the work all the running around well we seem I won't say fresh but fresher Sixty-five percent possession. It has been hovering at sixty-five percent possession for a while now. <clears throat> anyway, Johan on the ball gets out wide to Paulson. Back inside for Evander. Kawhi, we're just trying to pull the back line around a bit now. Shoes forward to Kawhi. Doesn't quite get to him, but it does go out for a corner. She puts the ball in, doesn't get past the first man unfortunately. And it does get launched long. They do take control of it. And that's the end of that highlight. Got another 20 minutes to go. And we've got these two guys down to 60%. Defensive midfield centre left and defensive midfield centre right are both having issues with fitness. These two guys here, eight and four. I think they've used all the substitutes, as have we. Anyway, Ritz to Evanda. Evanda out to Johan. Who I don't know. I don't know what he was doing there. Easy. Yep, that's all our, uh, our subs used. Another 12 minutes to go. Paulson picks the ball up deep. Do not fuck up just there. Beat us out to Elias. Elias to Kawhi. Holding the ball up. Inside to Evander. Evander forward to Lille, who... Okay fine again let's go yeah Javi Martis you, you can you can see the amount of uh, the outer circle for Javi Martos is down to less less than the half almost anyway deal with the corner let's get it out deal should beat him that should have beaten him to it Lille is fairly fresh and he is quick. Up to Masaudi, Masaudi to Vitas, Vitas to Ritz, Ritz to Kawaii. Kawaii back to Elias, back inside to Ritz. Out to Johan. Schuss picks it up. Takes it out to Paulson. There's no real impetus to get it forward. It's just spread the play, make them run. Just make sure that your passes get to uh, the person that they're meant to go to. Open up a little bit of space. Open up some gaps. Johan gets on the end of this and fluffs his shot. What's that? Oh well. Last five minutes or so. Ivana gets the ball back. Up to Lille. What's Lille going to do with this now? Lille just buys the corner. I'm fine with that. It looks like in terms of yellow cards as well. I think they've been frustrated in uh, their efforts to try and get the ball off us. And have thus. Picked up quite a few. Vanda into Vitas who just failed. Well I won't say failed. No. 
We got a header. It was on target. Just wasn't enough power to get it past the keeper. Good effort though. Shoots out to Kawaya. Kawaya forward but doesn't quite have the passing ability to, uh, to get it into Lille. Looks like they're trying to break quickly but with tired legs. It's always going to be an issue. Elias manages to get his head on that ball. Hopefully he can do it again. Paulson clears it. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hendrick, is that Hendrix? Hend Hendrick with an X on the end. I assume. Well, <clears throat> they don't deserve that. That came out of absolutely nothing. But I think we've been fairly FM'd on that. So. Let's go. Nope. I don't like these buttons up here. The. Yeah. Shutan the Hendrix. Yeah, about 65% possession. I reckon if we get this tactic down. Twelve shots, seven of them on target. Yeah, if we get this tactic down, everyone trained up on it. Well. Yeah. It's got potential. That is unlucky. But a draw against somebody who's in second place. That's not not the end of the world. Although we did have control over that match for a long, long, long time. They ended up down at 57 and 58 condition. Whereas we were alright actually. Got down to about 64. Two chances. Four key passes. Yeah, Vanda's really good. We might see if we can pick him up. Not at 1.4 million though. No, our finances are fully in the pool. Fully, fully in the pool. Still. Focus of attacks was centrally. Yeah, we'd, we'd brought to in our, our wide midfielders. So instead of them being wingers, um, what's that tactic? Yep, the advanced playmakers to support wide out there. Everyone's on support except one solar who's on attack. I think everyone else is either support or defense. Yep. Three hundred and twenty seven short passes, four hundred and eighty medium passes, eight hundred and sixty two passes combined. Majority were sideways, but I'm fine with that. It's all about stretching them around until we find that forward pass that's going to make sense. Key passes and mistakes. Who made all the mistakes? Johan. Hmm, Johan. Who wants to be sold as soon as possible? I'm sure I can facilitate that, Johan. So we have... Friendly coming up. Let's have. Nope. Morris. Nope. Glenn. Yeah, let's have you have in. So let's just give you 45 minutes. 45 minutes for you, 45 minutes for Kawhi as well. And for Rara. That will do. What more can we do? We've got one, two. I've got almost three weeks off. Can we grab some more friendlies? Just nearby teams, or do we go away for hopefully bigger teams? 16,000, no. Similar, no. Let's just have a home game against somebody nearby. 
who will bring in a decent amount against Etabeek is going to bring in 16,000 yeah that'll do and another one there's large reputation teams we'd have to pay 100,000 but we'd get an income of 75 all right 65 an income of 110 Um, 50 and 70 PSV, what about that? 15.85 Looks like PSV is winning Unless Sporting can pull it out of the bag No, I think we'll go PSV There you go 35,000 income from that game apparently. I will cover on that. We need all the income that we can get. I mean, in terms of percentages, this is going to bring in the most, but outright cash in hand. Fee of 1,000 for an income of 15. However, Fee 50,000, we have to speculate to accumulate. Decrease the percentage of transfer revenue, yep, down to 35%, just because we're mega in the poo. But that, ladies and gentlemen, on that, on that uh, strange note, I'm going to leave that today. Well, I'll get through these friendlies. I don't think much is going to happen. Um, It'll just be us getting familiar with this controlled tactic, which I say it did work. It was a bit of a freak goal in the, the last match that pegged us back level. Uh, we're not going to be scoring a lot from it, but we'll see how we go. So, until next time, do take care.